Hi, I'm Norman Wahlberger. We're here at the University of New South Wales. This is problem 70 in chapter 3, complex numbers, in our first year linear algebra course, Math 1131. So the problem is factorize z to the fourth plus 4 over the rational numbers. So we want to factor this thing with coefficients, which are rational numbers. Now generally, when we are trying to factor a polynomial, it's a very close to the problem of finding zeros of the polynomial. Because we know that for every zero of the polynomial, there is a linear factor of the polynomial. All right, so let's find zeros. In other words, we look at, uh, we, we try to solve z to the fourth plus 4 equals 0. Or z to the fourth equals minus 4. Well, over the rational numbers, there are no rational numbers whose fourth power is minus 4. It's not possible. But over the complex numbers, it is possible. So the picture that we have is the complex plane 1i minus 1 and minus 4 over here somewhere. Okay. And what we're interested in is the uh, fourth roots of minus 4. Well, let's write uh, the equation as z to the fourth equals minus 4 is 4 times e to the i pi. That's in polar form. And so if z is also in polar form, say r e to the i theta, then we have the equation r to the fourth e to the i 4 theta equals 4 e to the i pi. Okay, because I remind you that if you take this to the fourth power, then you get r to the fourth, and e to the i theta to the fourth is e to the i four theta. All right, so this is the, the equation sort of rewritten in polar forms, and we're looking for r and theta will, will make it true. So comparing the moduli, we see that r to the fourth has to equal four, and comparing the arguments, we see that four theta has to equal pi. Well, up to a multiple of 2 pi, so we could write plus 2 pi k. r is our real number, so r has to be the fourth root of 4, which is square root of 2. And theta is, well, pi over 4 plus pi over 2 times k. If we divide both sides by 4, we get pi over 4, and the 2 pi divided by 4 is pi over 2. So the solutions are z equals root 2 e to the i pi on 4, root 2 e to the i 3 pi on 4, root 2 e to the minus i pi on 4, and root 2 e to the minus i 3 pi on 4. And let's have a look to see where those solutions are. So somewhere here is root 2, and then here is the circle whose modulus is root 2. And on this circle we have four complex numbers that have angles or arguments pi over 4, so there will be one of them, or minus pi r on 4, or 3 pi on 4, or minus 3 pi on 4. So those are the four complex uh, solutions to this, uh, this equation. So we get the factorization that z to the fourth plus 4 equals 
z minus root 2 e to the i pi by 4. And then I'm going to put this one here, which is the complex conjugate, right beside it. z minus root 2 e to the i minus i pi by 4. And then I'm going to put these two together. z minus square root of 2 e to the i 3 pi by 4. And z minus root 2 e to the minus i 3 pi on 4. So that's a complex factorization of this polynomial. It's not yet a rational factorization, but it's a complex factorization. All right, now let's carry on and see if we can find our rational factorization by taking these two terms, which correspond to complex conjugate pairs. So these two here are complex conjugate pairs. And these are not, is another complex conjugate pair. And if we multiply those two factors together corresponding to a complex conjugate pair, then lo and behold, we get a quadratic expression that will have no more complex or imaginary coefficients. It will be entirely real. Let's illustrate that here in this case here. So what happens when we multiply these two together? Well, we get z squared, obviously. And what is the power of z? Well, we have z times uh, this expression and z times this expression. So we get minus uh, z times square root of 2 times e to the i pi on 4 plus e to the minus i pi on 4. And the uh, constant term is this times this will be square root of 2 squared, which is uh, 2. And the e to the i pi by 4 times e to the minus i pi by 4 is just 1. So we get this expression here. We'll still have to simplify this, but that's not going to be uh, too hard. Let's do the same kind of thing for this uh, other pair of complex uh, conjugate factors. So we're going to have a z squared, and then minus z times okay, root 2 times e to the i 3 pi on 4 plus e to the minus i 3 pi on 4. And then the product of these two last things is just plus 2. All right, what is e to the i pi on 4 plus e to the minus i pi on 4? That's 2 times the cosine of pi by 4. All right, so maybe I'll up here I'll remind you that cosine of theta equals e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta all over 2. All right, so we're using that fact there to replace this thing here with cosine of pi by 4 times 2. Well, what is the cosine of uh, pi by 4? It's 1 over root 2. If we multiply it by 2, we get root 2. So this root 2 and this root 2 combine to give us 2z plus 2. And similarly over here, the, we're getting cosine of 3 pi on 4 which is minus 1 over root 2. So we're getting the factor z squared. There's a minus now. So it'll be the same kind of thing, but with a plus 2, uh, z plus 2. And that's now somewhat miraculous factorization of z to the fourth plus 4, now entirely with real coefficients, in fact, with rational coefficients. And you could check that if you actually multiply these things out, then you would get z to the fourth plus 4, all the other terms uh, disappear. For example, the z squared terms, there'll be a 2z squared here, a 2z squared here, and a minus 4z squared, so they'll all disappear. That kind of thing. All right, so there's a factorization of z to the fourth plus 4 over the rational numbers.